When you're typing a letter, you may use block style, which when I'm zoomed out this far, you can see it very easily that everything aligns at the left margin except for the extra notations at the bottom. Well, sometimes um, you may use what's called modified block style, and in that case, you would need to have a tab set um, for the date. Okay, so I'm going to come up here to the date and I'm going to set a tab at three and a quarter and to do that I'm going to look here that is my left tab marker it's by default always at left tab so when it says left tab which by the way when you click it it changes it to a different tab and once you get through them all it will cycle back to left tab. So there's left tab. I'm going to look at my ruler here. I need to set it at three and a quarter. So there's three and there's three and a half. So halfway between there is three and a quarter. So right here is three and a quarter. I'm going to just click there. And when I do, it puts a little L there. That means there's a left tab set. Okay. Um, the only bad thing is, okay, there it is. It's at our date. So I have it set. I was, I was here on the date line. I set the left tab. And now when I hit tab, it will tab it all the way over to the halfway point, which is what you do for a modified black letter. Um, another thing that you do um, in a modified black letter um, is move the closing lines over. Okay, so the closing lines are from sincerely all the way down to here. Okay, the job title, it does not include the reference initials or the ending remarks. So I'm going to select these closing lines. I'm going to set another tab at three and a quarter. And now I'm going to hit tab for these three lines. And that is a modified. Oh, I did sh oh, yes. Um, that's a modified block style letter. Okay? Um, you may also hear the term mixed punctuation. If you ever see that, that means to put a colon after the salutation and a comma after the complimentary closing.